Hey, y'all. Piss off Redneck here. Now, yeah, today's mo still Monday, uh, April 10th, and I'm back. I'm making one more video, and I'm making this video because this really has my ass hairs in a tangle when I read this story. Now, it pisses me off. This is a, this is the second thing I've seen in about a month or, or a little less about the daggum United Airlines, these asshole casseroles. <coughs> okay, this happened Sunday evening. And uh, what happened is there was a flight in Chicago that, that United Airlines is saying it was overbooked. They needed four seats to uh, get uh, some United Airlines employees uh, to, a new, uh, to another destination. So they said the flight was overbooked by four people, which is a crock of shit. Your paying customers should be the ones who get the seats first. But anyways, these asshole casseroles said it was overbooked by four people, and the first thing they did, they offered $400 and a free hotel room for uh, four people to give up their seats. Well, not a daggum person gave up their seat. They said, hey, you're not putting a curve in my swerve. I'm flying where I'm going. I'm not giving up my seat. <coughs> so then United Airlines said, you know what, my sons of bitches, I'm going to double it, and I'm going to make it $800. So they are, they doubled it and offered eight hundred dollars to give up their seat. Well, they, the passenger said, "I ain't giving up my seat. I'm not put a curb in my swerve. I'm staying right here." So then, United Airlines decides to have a computer randomly select four passengers that and then force them to give up their seats. Whoever the computer picks. So, the computer picked four people, and the uh, um, computer picked four people, two people gave up their seats willingly. Well, they get this with the next guy, and this guy is supposedly a doctor. He had to get back to uh, back home or wherever the hell he was going, because he had patients to meet with the next day. He had, you know, appointments he had to meet. Well, he said, I'm not giving up my seat. You're not putting the curb my swerve. And I'm not put, I'm not giving up my seat. They, uh, so then United Airlines, they decided they're going to have security make this guy get off his seat, uh, get out of his seat and give it up. Man, he refused. Two security officers came over. They yanked his ass out of his seat. And he was a big guy, too. And this guy was uh, screaming. <coughs> and they yanked him out of his seat and they drug him down the daggum aisle screaming. First of all, this guy did nothing wrong. He wasn't acting up on the plane and I don't blame him. He paid for his daggum ticket. He had to be somewhere the next day. Why should he give up his seat? That's on United Airlines, not him. And they drug his ass down the aisle. They bloodied his face. He had, to, he had to seek it to, uh, uh, get attention because he had a bloody face. And uh, the flight was delayed for about two hours. There are kids all upset on the flight. I mean, you know what? It's got to be scary for a kid to be flying in a big old airplane anyways. And now they're, you know, <coughs> they got to watch this shit. Some asshole casserole security guard, sons of bitches, dragging them down this damn aisle. I'm telling you, this has my ass hairs in a tangle. Who gives, uh, what gives United Airlines the right? And uh, there, there were, you know, the kids were all upset. So uh, they drug the guy off the plane, and um, I think it's bullshit. Now, just not even a month ago. There's a story about United Airlines. They wouldn't let these uh, female passengers on the plane because they were wearing leggings. And the one, the one girl was only 10 years old. They're leggings. Not Daisy Duke shorts with the ass cheeks hanging all out. Or, you know, <coughs> some kind of uh, shirt where, you know, you got the boobies popping out and a nipple making a, and, you know, coming out, you know. What the hell? They're leggings. They they told them if they wanted to get on the plane, they had to put on a dress, something long to cover 
their their like you know their leggings, or they had to change pants. I think United Airlines is a bunch of asshole casseroles, and they don't know you know customer come first. It's crazy, pissing me off. So this poor guy got drug off the plane, kicking and screaming because United Airlines made a mistake by overbooking because they needed four of their employees. <coughs> Let me know what you think. Do you think that 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 United Airlines should you know service the customers first and then you figure something out for their employees, or do you think they did the right thing by dragging this daggum guy off? I don't think anybody should have to give up their seat they paid for, and they have somewhere to be the next day. It's a crock shit. Pisses me off, ass hairs in a tangle. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay. Rant over, my sons of bitches. I hope you had a great rest of your day. Please, subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up, some bitch. And share my videos. I'm dropping the knowledge, share my videos, let everyone know how big of an asshole casserole company United Airlines is. Damn, they piss me off. Follow me on Twitter, Hoppy69. I'll put my P.O. box in the description down below in case anybody wants to send me some YouTube mail. <coughs> my sons and bitches, I hope you had a good day. My sons and bitches. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I'm always thankful for you guys. With that being said, I'm out, my sons of bitches. I'll tell you what. Let them try to drag my fat ass down the damn aisle.